Hello and welcome to uh, update of the original cocoon bin. This is <clears throat> the bin that we started back uh, April 8th and we started it with 75 cocoons, about 75 cocoons. And about three weeks ago, I weighed the majority of the worms and we have, after seven and a half months, we have half a pound of worms from 75 cocoons. So I think we can call this experiment a success. Look how big these guys are. So, we are going to finally retire this experiment and this particular bin. I'm going to use the bin for something else, but what we're also going to do is we're also going to uh, harvest. So, this material is very, very well worked over. And since I do my horizontal migration method, I am going to do the same thing here. Now we did add bedding last, last feeding here. We added bedding mixed in with, uh, I think it was applesauce. Well, with fruit in any case. And cocoon. I'm sure there are a lot of cocoons here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the worked over material. I'm going to put it to this side. Don't bury my spoon. And I'm going to keep this particular bedding on this side and lure the worms to this side with new food and of course new bedding and then I will just uh, put them in my vermi bag it's a cocoon guys yellow so freshly laid um, I'm going to put the worms into my vermi bag mini and then I'm going to use this bin, I think I'm going to use this bin, uh, to start a blue worm only, a perionics bin, because uh, most of my worms are kind of mixed, and I really would like to see what these guys are all about on their own. So, okay, so we've got quite a lot of unprocessed material on this side, which is fine. Um, I'll just redistribute that material with the new material that's going to go in here in just about a minute. corn but um yeah so we did really really great uh with this particular um experiment unlike my african night crawler uh, cocoon bin which i i stopped after about i think after five or six weeks because you know if there's if the cocoons are supposed to hatch after after three or four weeks well and we got 15 worms from about what was it, 75 or so, so cocoons? I think we were done. Um, so that was a little bit of a disappointment, but this was a big success. So we have the older bedding down here and we are going to give them something to tempt them. I always, when I, when I do the horizontal migration, 
I always try and tempt them with fruit. And this is persimmon, uh, something sweet, so that the bacteria starts building up quicker. It's the sugar content in the fruit. Oh, come on. So, uh, yeah, we wanna get them to this side as quickly as possible. And then I'll just be coming in here and uh, removing handfuls of worms and putting them in the mini and probably letting maybe even the cocoons hatch and the baby worms making their way here because there are a lot of cocoons in there. So I'm going to give them some moist bedding. I'm not going to give dry bedding. I want them to find it very, very appetizing to migrate here. And then I just kind of squish everything. Squish everything down. So on to a new adventure. And I still have my other uh, cocoon bin, the 1001 Red Wiggler cocoon bin, and that's going strong and we'll definitely be dividing that bin and, and the subsequent bins uh, over a, a period of one year and we'll see what kind of population we'll, we'll get from those thousand and one cocoons. But uh, this has been a real treat for me. It's one of my favorite, favorite uh, experiments and my favorite bin, if you couldn't tell. But um, I think it's time for them to, to leave the nursery and go on to bigger and better things. So we will, uh, start dating them out and doing the horizontal migration and we're going to start a new bin with blue worms only. Thanks for joining me and see you next week.